on the previous episode of Dragon Ball Z. I don't want to prolong any animal suffering, any, any. And now, on the exciting conclusion of Dragon Ball Z, the Cell games are going down, and what will Mr. Satan do? I fucking love Mr. Satan. Hercule, whatever you want to call him. You know what I call Mr. Satan, a.k.a. Hercule? You know who, what I call him? You know what I call him aside from, like, Godchild? I call him Mr. Torg. That's right, everybody. Just as a reminder, the same guy who does Mr. Satan's voice in one of the American dubs. I can't actually remember which dub it is. I know there's, like, the Oceana dub and the Vancouver dub or whatever. But in one of the dubs, the guy who does Mr. Satan's voice... Oh, my God, I couldn't miss that. Also does the voice of uh, Torg in Borderlands 2. How awesome is that? I just have one question, and one question only. EXPLOSIONS?! Ooh, I love how this boat actually has, like, rocking physics. I wonder how hard that was to plug in. Interesting. EXPLOSIONS?! Yes. How did that boat even get in here? Was it built in there? That's a possibility. I swear to fucking god, Snacker. Oh, he kicked me! Well, he bit me with his teeth. He kicked me with his fucking teeth. Fine, you get another one, but no more. Beautiful. So now, how 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 far are we into Rusty Bucket Bay? Oh God, we've got so much longer to go. It takes physical effort and will, but we must push through. We have to push through because the next area, the next area, is my absolute number one unequaled favorite in the entire game, and I would gladly go through. No, 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 no! I knew that was gonna happen! I would gladly go through three Rusty Bucket Bays to reach the nirvana of that... that stage. I love it to death. And it's funny though, but I... It's funny that I like it to death because it does certain things that Rusty Bucket Bay does, like, uh... Where you have to, uh, impact the overworld significantly to get to it. And getting to it affects the overworld quite a bit. However, it does it in a very likable and organic way. Whereas I feel that Rusty Bucket Bay, when you raise the water levels, it just kind of feels unnatural. Like you're messing with something that you shouldn't be messing with. Like you're flooding the whole area just for your own sick needs. Look at that, they, they also programmed in the, the barrels moving. Oh, Jinjo, how did you get into this situation? How did you do this, Jinjo? Were you really a green Jinjo when you first started? Yeah! Fantastic! By the way, that stuff's like acid. If you touch it, you like instantly get hurt for quite a bit. Look at how dumb those boxes look. I am a box. I will sit here. Hey. Hey there. You got quite the underbite there going, buddy. <laughs> I love how it, like, how it collapses. Oh god, Banjo's whole head went through the grate there. That was very disturbing. Oh my god. Stop wasting the gold feathers! Even though I really don't use them from this point on. Okay. That's as far as that one goes. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot! Oh yo yo! I really shouldn't take these really long breaks from recording because my voice gets pretty darn weak. After I've done it for like four days straight, I'm like, yeah, getting good at this. Ooh, this is. I gotta say, I do like these levers. Yeah. Oh god. Go. Okay, we're already screwed. Hurry the hell up, Banjo. Got it! I've never actually had it close on me the whole way. Oh, I should have done that! I should have actually let the whole thing close and then, like, grab the jiggy. 
I wonder what would have happened. Interesting, interesting. I like how it closes anyway. What you gonna do, buddy? Oh, okay, just touching you hurts. I forgot about that. Just a solid block of pain you are. We'll explore the ship last, I think. I do like the sky. I will give it that. And I do like this rope climbing. And I do remember really liking that I was on this really thin, like, tight wire kind of crane. Really like that. See, even in the stages that I really hate, maybe when I get to Rusty Bucket Bay 2.0 and Banjo-Tooie, I'll find things that I really like, but just... I, I'd really have to struggle, to be honest. I also do kind of like how small these things are getting. I don't know. I mean, they're not small in comparison to Banjo's body. If I saw those things, if I saw a worm as big as my whole fucking body trying to bite me with teeth that are longer than my arms, I'd probably freak out. For God's sakes, I saw a Black Widow at my work, and it was as big as its body, just its body was as big as my thumb, and I like, I was so scared. I like, I, I was freaking out that, the whole rest of that day. I was like, holy fucking shit, are you kidding me? Like, I, I, I live in... The United States is really unplagued by very bad bugs. If you go to fucking, like, Australia or some of the more deserty areas, you get some of those spiders that are just, like, bigger than your hand. Oh, God. Even seeing, like... Oh, I'm such a wimp about spiders. Like, academically, I know... Well, Black Widows, I really should be afraid of, although... God, my... Here, I think I'll tell you guys a little something about my family history that I've, I don't think I've ever gone into. I'm probably one of the most sane people in my in my family. I have an uncle. Hey, cool, I didn't know I could avoid those guys that well. I have an uncle. He's quite quite interesting. He's uh he's my mother's second oldest brother, and he just has some quirks about him that are so I've never really seen anybody else quite like this guy. He's not insane. He just He's definitely not insane. He's actually... He's so intelligent, he's to the point where you think he could be insane. And his reasoning is illogical, but has a spice of reason behind it. For example, he is quite the heavy smoker. He's always been a pretty heavy smoker. However, he is very interested in keeping his teeth clean. But... He doesn't brush his teeth. Instead, he only flosses, but he flosses intensely. So his teeth are heavily stained from nicotine, but his gums and his actual teeth are pretty well maintained, but he just... He only flosses. I've never met anybody else who only flosses. I've never even heard of anybody else like that. And again, I can kind of see the logic behind it, but it's like, no, no, no. Is it really so hard to brush your goddamn teeth, Scott? What else does he do that's really, really weird? He's an asshole. He's he's completely an asshole. I'm just going to say that out and out. I remember when I was like 15, I went over to his house one time. And he's like, oh, hey, gunslinger. Wow, I didn't know you brought Mount Vesuvius on your nose. I'm just like, fine, sorry, Scott. Sorry for me being 15 and having acne. Jesus. Oi, oi, oi. Maybe I was too sensitive. He actually, he actually made me look up gullible in the dictionary. He's just like, hey, gunslinger. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? I think I was like 13 at the time. He's like, did you know that gullible isn't in the dictionary? And I was like, Scott, gullible is in the dictionary. He's like, how do you know? I'm just like, well, because it is. It's, it's a word. It's got to be in the dictionary. He's like, but have you ever seen it? And I'm just like, well, no. Well, how do you know it's in the dictionary? I'm like, okay, fine. So I actually went and got a dictionary, and I brought it out, and I looked it up, and I was like, here, Scott, right here. You see, it's in the dictionary. Get it? He's like, <laughs> I made you look it up in the dictionary. I'm just like, no, that's because you said it wasn't there. Like, it's not that I didn't believe you. It's that I wanted to prove you wrong. He's just like, Jared, you're so... What is, what is the definition of gullible again? I'm just like, fuck you, Scott. What else has he done? Oh! You, you'll love this. When he when he got divorced from his wife, he had a moving truck to pack up all his stuff. He backed the moving truck into his wife's sedan, ripped off part of the bumper, 
and instead of like freaking out about it, he ran into the house, got his big collection of knives. He's got, this guy really takes after my grandfather. My grandfather had a lot of like lathes and saws, like really big like tree cutting saws that are as big as your body that you need two men to use, to have it used and just... He just ran inside and got one of the... All of his knives are brown! They're so old and they're made out of such old metal that they've rusted and turned brown but are so sharp and jagged and kind of like... It's like a tooth that's been worn away and chipped, but it still is very sharp. And he just walked outside, walked out front, and cut part of her bumper off with his knife. And I'm just like, what the fuck, Scott? And he's just like, what? He's a... And he didn't do it out of spite, either. He's just... He's not a mean guy, I would say. He just kind of takes jokes in a weird way. Sorry if I'm going off about this when I really should be talking about Banjo-Kazooie, but he's an interesting person in my life that I've never really talked about. Actually, his son, my cousin Nick, um, he actually introduced me to a lot of video games when I was young. I remember going over to my cousin Nick's house and playing uh, Pokemon Red on his television. That was the coolest thing ever. He had one of those N6 N64 adapters, so you could play... Uh, Pokemon on the Pokemon Stadium, so you could play it actually on your fucking TV. I was like, holy hell. Nick's a cool guy. Um, and I even remember at one... By the way, I love that TNT effect. I love that. Um, I remember him playing a game on his really, really old computer when I was young, and I never knew what it was, but it looked really fun. And then years later... I saw what it was, and I realized what it was, and I was like, wow, really? Even all that time ago? Huh. And the only thing I had remembered about the game was that, that there was this big red and this big blue ball on the bottom left and bottom right hand side of the screen. And one was his health, and one was like his magic. And I'm just like, what the hell is that game? And then I saw screenshots of Diablo, and I realized, oh, that's what it was. And so now that I actually own Diablo 2, I've never played it, but I can't help but every time I think of Diablo, but to remember my cousin's house. Jinjo! <sighs> Magnificent. Very good, very good.